welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we want to find the value of x given that you have x plus 12 in parentheses to the power of 3 equals 100 the let's have it to be solution then from here let's introduce log to both sides of this expression so we have here to be log x plus 2 plus 12 rather to the power of 2 equals log 100 so let us recall we have log p to the power of m equals m times log p so here will be 2 times log x plus 12 equals log 100 then from here let's divide 2 by 2 so when we divide 2 by log 2 this cancel out this so we have it with log x plus 12 equals log 100 over 2 then mind you we can have 100 as the product of 10 times 10 which equals in base 10 to as 10 to the power of 2 so we have log x plus 12 equals log 10 to the power of 2 over 2 so we have log x plus 12 this guy here will be 2 times log 2 over log 2 so this we divide by this this 2 so we have log x plus 12 equals log 10 so from here it is obvious that if we introduce log if we take cancel the log of both sides here will be x plus 12 equals 10 then from here we have x equals 10 minus 12 so we have x to be 10 minus 12 will give us minus 2 so x equals minus 2 from this side so if you are to check we have x plus 12 and parentheses to the power of 2 then it's going to give us or let us use another method there is in log let us use another method let's call it method 2 We have x plus 12 to the power of 2 equals 100. x plus 12 to the power of 2, we can have this 100 as 10 times 10. So when we have a times a, which will give us a square. So from here we have x plus 12 in parentheses to the power of 2 equals 10 to the power of 2. So when this cancel out this, we have x because they have the same power, x plus 2, 12 equals 10. And when you collect the light term, we have x equals 10 minus 12. We have x 10 minus 12 give us minus 2. So if we are to check, because we have x plus 12. To the power of 2 equals 100 when s equals minus 2 here will be minus 2 plus 12 to the power of 2 then it's going to give us 100 then minus 2 plus 12 this will give us 10 then to the power of 2 then it's going to give us 100 so 10 to the power of 2 simply means 10 times 10 
which equals 100. So from here, 100 equals 100.